all right guys welcome back papa squat we're going through the android saga today everybody excited i'm excited i'm so freaking pumped let's do it okay let's do this thing my sentiments exactly goku after telling goku that he will come to their aid when the androids arrive trunks returns to his own time Goku is determined to fight alongside his friends to avert the coming catastrophe in their futures. Alright, and then we're gonna get the android showing up, I think. Three years pass, and the fated day of May 12th has finally come. Goku and the others gather at the time and place that Trunks gave them. They settle in to wait for the android's appearance. Before they know it, they're already here. Up there, in the sky. He was attacked from above. Mm -hmm. Goku and the others couldn't even sense the androids before they started landing in the streets. Suddenly, Goku senses that Yamcha's key is rapidly fading. They arrive to find him barely alive, having suffered a mortal blow at the hands of the androids. Like my narrator voice. Again, I am working on it. There are too many innocent people here. Let's take this somewhere else. You agree to that at least? Too many innocent people? Well, that is a problem which can be easily corrected. Mm -hmm. Stop it! You bastards! It was my understanding you wanted the streets free of onlookers. Evidently, our solution does not please you. That's it! Follow me and we're gonna settle this! Let's take this outside. I remember watching this and thinking Goku was gonna beat the shit out of these androids. Goku leads the androids to a deserted area away from the town they were trying to destroy. Once at a safe distance from humanity, Goku questions the androids about how they know details about him and the others. As it turns out, Android 20 has been studying Goku and his friends ever since he defeated the Red Ribbon Army in order to learn how to defeat them. He informs them that, over time, he has analyzed and come to fully grasp the power they wield. Android 20 is confident that victory will be his, but Goku only grins in response. If all you know about me is from before I went to Namek, you're about to be in for a real shock. What the fuck is Namek? Team four star, anybody? Whoa. Mm. You guys stay out of this. If I'm the one these guys want, then that's what they're gonna get. Yeah, I thought Goku was gonna fucking beat the shit out of these guys. A most intriguing discrepancy. They didn't know. I thought Super Saiyan was invincible. It departs rather considerably from the data previously compiled. They didn't know nothing about it. But it is not remotely discouraging. His strength is within manageable parameters. Android number 19 shall now operate as your executioner. Is that right? Fine. Then get over here and fight me. Okay. And I am supposed to lose this fight. Let's see how it goes. I have been practicing though, just so you know. Do not bother, it is <laughs> Fuck this one is weird. 19 is fucking weird. Health back. I will conduct another chest. All right, okay. No we can take those. Uh -oh. Oh, I'm not doing any damage, I'm not stunning him at all. Okay. 
shit. Alright, I just decided right now that I'm gonna win this. Story be damned. Go go. We're just we're testing the strength. That's all. all right. Uh oh, I think I missed this. Uh oh, God damn it, dude. Come on. All right. All right. Get ready to see my real strength. Amazing. His strength is immeasurable. This Come on. Super Saiyan transformation put Goku on a level far beyond us all. <laughs> we'll see. Come on. Come on. We're not playing around out here, folks. Usually not the sloppy. Goku collapses from a hard virus during the attack, but Vegeta comes to the rescue. With my anger at its peak, it happened. Finally, I have become a Super Saiyan. The awakened Vegeta takes the fight to the androids. Yeah, this was one of the more hype moments too when Vegeta first goes Super Saiyan. Come on. Come on. Shit. Ah. Not going anywhere. Do not bother. It is futile. Is it? Why is it? I'm trying to charge up my. Okay. Let me see. What do I have? Cosmic impact. Let's go with that. I'm not playing around. That seems about right, right? Ah. I think that's that was part of the cannon. Come on. Alright. That was the attack you used on him, right? Let's see. Time for the coup de gras. Right? Uh, is it land? Do we land it? Ah. Sit still. Sit still. This is it. That's a wrap for you, buddy. That's about gonna do it for you, pimp. <laughs> Vegeta pursues Dr. Giro as he heads towards his laboratory, but Dr. Giro seals his own fate when he awakens Android 17 and 18. As soon as they come online, they put a swift end to their creator. 
They then proceed to boot up Android 16, another model. Now a team of three, the androids depart for a place where Vegeta and the others won't find them. Vegeta catches up with the androids and lands before them. Well, well, not the sort of place I expected to find you three, but it'll have to do. Your leaving all of a sudden got me curious, I'll admit. Where is your destination? Goku's house, wherever it is, to kill him. Just as I thought. Mm -hmm. But you're never going to get there. Because I, Vegeta, shall crush you here and now. Hey guys, Vegeta seems to be pretty cocky, doesn't he? It must be a Saiyan thing. They always talk such a big talk, and then they end up dying so fast. It's a shame. How does he know? You shut your mouth, you disrespectful toy! I'll rip all three of you to pieces. That's some weird dialogue, right? First. Isn't this the first saying they've dealt with? Let's play. Just you and me. Remember being psyched that Vegeta finally got like a W under his belt when he beat 19. But it was short lived because this fight was hot on its heels. Alright, let's go, sweetheart. And if you didn't know, yes, I do very much love Android 18. Eat all this shit, bitch. Tell if she's taking any damage or not. Feast your eyes on Super Vegeta's big bang. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think this is a little closer than it actually was in the anime or manga. about right actually it was a little worse than the anime and manga i made it out without a broken arm though right even in super saiyan form vegeta has lost to the androids and cannot hide his frustration he then enters the hyperbolic time chamber with trunks having been told that he can use it to get several years worth of training in far less time. Sensing a need for greater strength, Piccolo powers up by merging with Kami. At that time, a strange monster appears on Earth. Piccolo heads towards the creature, sensing a terribly terrible energy emanating from it. Now, you tell me what kind of creature you are. Make it quick. Talk or else. I try to make a habit of not talking to my I drink people. I, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's myself. That's my cell voice. What do you think? Uh. Alright. Okay. Shit. Ugh. I took that one right to the face. Uh, all right, so damn it. <laughs> I'm not just boasting about having practice and powered up. All right, it always takes me a second to warm up. All 
Ah. Oh boy. Okay. All right. I got him. Did I get him? Wait. I got a special beam cannon, but it's Hell's Own Grenade. Okay. I think that has a little more oomph to it. Are you? I drink people. My name is Cell. I am an android. I was created by the computer in Dr. Giraud's secret laboratory. That lunatic again, huh? Years ago, Dr. Giraud began collecting cell samples from the world's greatest fighters, hoping to synthesize their DNA and create the ultimate android. However, cannot become truly perfect until I have absorbed two highly specialized life forms. And what sort of specialized life forms are you talking about? The ones I need are two of Dr. Giraud's other creations, Android 17 and 18. And once I achieve my perfect form, I will be invincible. The greatest power the universe has ever known! Hmm. All right. I've heard plenty. That's everything I need to know. You... You tricked me! It was all a ploy to get me to talk! Now that I know what you are, I know how to stop you. You gonna fight some more? First you fight to him. Then you kiss to him. Piccolo pushes to end the fight. But Cell uses solar flare and escapes. While Goku and Vegeta are training in the hyperbolic time chamber, the androids arrive at Kame House looking for Goku. As their questions about Goku's whereabouts pose the risk of turning to violence, Piccolo takes them to a barren island and prepares to fight. It started. Piccolo's getting ready to fight. Yeah, but who? Do you think it's Cell? No. Whoever it is, I can't sense their energy. So it's got to be one of the other androids. Stop, Gohan. We can't help it. We're nowhere near their level right now. All we do is slow Piccolo down. Well, here I am. Go ahead. Show me what you've got. What? I did really like this fight. I feel like a lot of people like this one. What? Looks like you're all out of moves, Android. Nice try, but still not enough. <laughs> you wait, I'm still just getting started. One of the things I liked in Super as well was I think when they were getting ready for the the tournament of power um Piccolo and Android 17 had like a moment and I almost I forgot about this fight you know it's been so long you know I forgot they had beef like that um or that they'd never resolved or talked about it since this is the first time really meeting right. they definitely played it up I like little moments like that. All right. Uh, this is cannon. Yep, cannon that it, it gets interrupted. Hell's own grenade. You just couldn't get it off. All right, let's try it again. Let's see. Let's go. Damn, that's still. 
Oh shit. So caught up in the battle. I didn't sense him coming. Shit. Okay. Now who is this uh -oh. freak? The fuck is going on? Yes, yeah. finally. There they are. Ah. A beast for the eyes. The two ah. androids that I will absorb to complete my design and realize my perfect form. Not so fast. Your fight is with me. Okay. Oh, do I have to beat him? Shit. Alright. 17, go! Get away from him! Bye bye. Guess I just have to make it a little bit, right? When they finish training in the chamber, Vegeta and Trunks leave to battle Cell. Even after Cell has absorbed Android 17 and grown stronger, Vegeta smiles with the certainty that his own training makes him superior. Now, watch closely, Cell, because I'm about to wipe that disgusting smirk off that face of yours! Super Vegeta. You're not Vegeta. You're not. You've changed. You've become something else. You point to himself, yeah. I am Super Vegeta. I don't think I've used this character at all in this game. Oh, shit. Okay. What are my specials in Super? I'm gonna save the final flash. For perfect cell. Okay, okay. Ah, ah. What is it? more key oh, it's not tripping him ah trying to do the trip ah come on come on come on I need some more key Can make the slightest bit of difference against me. I would have the ultimate power. You wouldn't against me. Give it to him. All right, yeah. I'll allow ah. myself to be goaded into your trap. Go on. Go on. No. So I'll allow this attack. Ah. Father, no. Stand aside, boy. Shit, now I gotta fight trunks. That's right, that's right. That is how it went down. Uh. All right. Beating up my son. Beating up my son. Beating up my son. Right, come on. Ah. You're me. You'll pay for this. No. All right. Come on. Ah. 
We get him. Too slow. All right. I was trying to get that one off our cell. Can't see anything. What's gonna? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. No. 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 Okay. Okay. Making a mistake, Father. We can't let Cell reach his perfect form. I've already seen one future ruined. I'm not going to stand here and watch it happen again. I'm putting an end to this, even if that means I have to go through you. Is that so? <laughs> Who are you trying to fool? You're too soft-hearted to attack your own father. Mm. <clears throat> Trunks was a monster. He was a fucking monster. So I love that he character. Actually did it. I know I said that about almost all these characters. Cell really is transforming. Now we'll see if this perfect form of his is everything he made it out to be. This arc was so good. It was so good. Cause I know like people talk shit about the Majin Buu arc <laughs> so this for is what a few different reasons, but like so one of them is that like perfectly ordinary is they fuck like around you. a lot, a lot. But I feel like this is the only instance where like somebody's like kind of fucking around so, and they let the bad I'm guy. The taste of victory you're ever going to enjoy. I suppose we'll they let the bad guy power all the way up just for but shits and gigs. Now, I wonder if you would be so good as to assist me in warming up. Sure. Just know I'll be turning up the heat rather quickly. I'm terrified. There's like several instances in, in the Boo saga where like they have a chance to end it and they just are dicking around. Right, but this is like totally who Vegeta is. Like his pride would fucking uh. Come on. Let's go, Jeets. Ah, ah, ah. Alright, let's go. Nope. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright. Come on. Alright, can we get him? Can we do this thing? Come on. Shit. Ah. God. So you done fucked up. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, he's gonna explode himself. Uh, uh. 
Are we black in time? Shit. I damn it. The way this is going, I have no other choice but to use my final flash. Sil! You have mocked me for the last time! Do you truly believe your power is far superior to mine? Here! If you have the guts to put it to the test, All right, let's, let's go. see if you're strong enough to withstand this! Let's All right, come on. <laughs> well, that certainly left a mark, didn't it? Serves you right. Wow, it's so bright in here. And my body feels heavy. It's kind of hard to breathe. Yep, and not only that, but once this door is closed, we're completely cut off from contact with the outside world. Mm. Go take a look out back. That's the training area. You'll see the reason why I barely made it a month in here when I was a kid. Oh, this is crazy. How could this be inside a room? It's bigger than the whole lookout. It's just a huge, empty space. And it goes on and on like this in every direction. Try not to wander off too far, okay? You might not be able to find your way back. Yeah, right. And we, we've got to stay a year, huh? Come on, we've got to get to work right away. First off, we should get started on turning you into a Super Saiyan. Mm -hmm. A Super Saiyan? Me? I don't know. I mean, do you really think I can? What are the voices for Gone? Well, sure, why not? I can do it, and you're my son, are you? I heard the OG voice, Stephanie Nadalny, I believe her name was, is coming back. We'll spend some time teaching you how to train. This ain't her. And then Doesn't we'll sound like. get into the real training. All right, this definitely brings me back to a time in my life where all I was about was working. Like I still love to work out, but that was the priority over everything, you know? And I would work out hours at a time and I just fucking loved it. Loved it two, three times a day sometimes. I can't throw, okay. Yes, I, I can sometimes. I don't know something going on. Oh. And Goku decides to fucking cheat. Oh shit. All right. Even Super Vegeta's final flash is not enough to defeat Cell. Soon, Vegeta collapses under Cell's furious attacks. Trunks attempts to come to the unconscious Vegeta's aid, but he is defeated by Cell without managing to land a single blow. Following this, Cell declares that the Cell Games will be held after 10 days, I believe that said. He states that he wishes to prove the strength of his final form, enjoy a little entertainment, and of course, terrorize the world. Goku completes his training in the hyperbolic time chamber. Although he says that Cell is still stronger than him, his spirit has not been crushed. Ten days pass and the Cell games begin. The Cell games have officially begun. Now, if any of you should dare to step forward, I would like to kick things off. I'll go first. Yep. I remember this fight being hype as fuck, though. Well, well. I was hoping to save the best for last, Goku. But so be it. Come on. Let's do it. Uh, all right. 
bandages have to last like a certain amount of time. Oh, shit. We out here chucking plasma, boys. Where's he at? Oh, shit. <laughs> Come on. Ah. Let's go. Let's go. So. Shit. Mm. He got me. Super barrier. Shit. Okay. God damn. All right, so. Me again. I don't think I can block this. Is this unblockable? Shit. I just need to last a certain amount of time. Then he gives up, right? I give up. I fought as hard as I could, but it's pretty clear there's no way I can beat you. So that's it for me. Time for you to take over, Gohan. Me take him on? I don't know. This is madness, Goku. There's no way the boy can win. I'll admit, Gohan's abilities are far beyond what they used to be. But you're pitting him against a foe even you couldn't beat. Listen, you have to trust me. Gohan has a power within him that's greater than anything you could possibly imagine. So what do you think? You see me hit Cell with anything you couldn't handle? Have you seen me go at him with anything you don't have? Well, no, I don't think so. Hmm? But you were both holding back, right? I'm sure it'd be a lot different if you were going all out. Now, I don't know about Cell, but I was giving it everything I had. You thought I was holding back because you were gauging my energy against your own. <laughs> Gohan, answer me. Is this true? Yeah. All right, Gohan. This is it. I need you to go out there and win this one for us, okay? Then we can all go home. Okay, Dad. I'll do it. All right, and the real fight starts. All right. All right. I really should throw some of these, right? Like... Put on a show, the little ropey dope. Ah. Oh. Oh. something out okay how do you like that okay 
Huh? Told you I've been practicing. Senko. Why are we fighting? There's no point. We can just stop. Look, I'm giving you the chance to end this without violence. We really don't want to kill you. Even if you are evil, you can still walk away. I'm not interested in fighting you just for the challenge. But Dad's the one who cares about that stuff. As long as I can remember, whenever I got real mad, things would happen around me that I couldn't explain. Come on. Crazy things. Oh boy, okay. Oh, a fascinating story, but unwise to tell. If you intend to intimidate Runt, it helps to know a bit about your audience first. Case in point. Let's just say for the sake of argument, it's true. You have huge reserves of power. And let's just say I'm the sort who wants to see them firsthand. I gotta say, uh, Team Four Stars version of Cell really made the character for me. Like, I can't. Nobody else cuts it for me anymore. Now interested in drawing out Gohan's true power, Cell sends him. Sorry about that. I was bullshitting. Missed all the dialogue. Cell continues to inflict pain on Gohan in an attempt to draw out his anger. However, Gohan's own pain does not generate enough rage to push him beyond his limits. Cell decides to switch his target to Goku and the others. Do not come any closer. It is highly unlikely you could survive such a blast. I am going to self-destruct and take Cell with me. Huh? <laughs> such a shame, Android 16. And then a mere bomb wouldn't have been enough to destroy me anyway. They gloss over the fact that Boma took the bomb out. Oh, 16 looks like you joined the lengthy list of Dr. Giro's failures. What, what in the world is that thing? It's either Boma or Dad, right? Took it out. To make them suffer. No! Go on. Listen to me. There are some foes who cannot be reasoned with. You are allowed to fight on the side of justice. Seize upon your anger. Wield it like a weapon. I understand your reluctance, but holding it in is pointless. That is sound advice. Better than I expected from an appliance. But I'd much rather tear the rage out of him. Go on. I love the animals and everything about nature. Protect them for me. They need you. <laughs> it's time to can it, you worthless scrap. This is where self fucks up. Fight a cell junior. And I'll never forgive you. Got to fight all seven of them. Power has finally revealed Perfect. Now we can get down to this. Alright, what do we have? Explosive rush. Let's see what all his moves are. Get him. Senko, Ooh, Senko again. Oh, did I press the wrong button? Was, no, it's still Masenko is his super. Raging Masenko. Ah. Alright, get him this time. Alright, there we go. Alright, and that's canon. Now we fight so. 
Even with luck on your side, the odds of beating uh, me are oh, oh. in your favor. You're wrong. Yes, that's the spirit. Too bad you're going to lose it once you witness me in all my terrifying okay. glory. Uh-uh. I do not have the timing down for Do it right. That's a wrap for sale. No. Oh, how is this possible? How can anyone on this measly planet possess so much power? Go on. What are you doing? Finish him. It's all up to you. What, do you want me to end it already? <laughs> I'm not letting him off that easy. He deserves to feel the same pain he put all his victims through. Mm. Again, Team Four Star handles this moment perfectly. When he's like, oh, maybe I should let him power up to 100% so I can fight him at his best. Or maybe I could toss him a fucking sensu and let you fight him. Sorry, I've thought this over, guys. Well, any way you slice it, there's only one way to save her. Goodbye, my friends. Uh, goodbye? You're not thinking of... Goku! No! You did good today, Gohan. Made me proud. Dad, what are you? Tell your mom I'm sorry. I'm not gonna make it home this time. His, his energy, it's gone without a trace. Yeah! The sequels actually did hit me in the feels. Me anime. Real hard in Japanese. Gone screams out. What? Like, Tosa! I might be saying it wrong. But he said that shit from his soul. I was kind of short on options. 
options. It was brilliantly voice acted. Krillin scream and Gohan about them when they were losing Goku. Fact that Goku's the fact that victory came at the cost of Goku's life weighs heavily on Gohan's shoulders. He cannot seem to escape the shadow of regret. Just then the ground begins to rumble. From the dust, a flash of light shoots out and pierces trunks in the chest. What appears before them is Cell, but one who has grown even more powerful than before. When Cell self destructed, he protected his core from damage allowing him to regenerate. It is the revived cell who struck down Trunks in a surprise attack. The fight begins once again. T Trunks! <laughs> Surprised to see me. <laughs> Something amuse you? Does imminent destruction put a smile on your face? It was because of my mistake that Dad had to sacrifice himself. It's my fault you put us in that position. I'd have given anything for a chance to do it over again. Now I get one. Then let's see if you've got the power to back up your words. Luck won't be on your side this time. I. Let's get down. I won't survive this time. I am done playing games. It's time I ended this. Still want to fight? Huh. Too slow. Give it to him, God. I took all of that one. topic but I know last episode I was talking about how they kind of seem like they're racing Mr. Popo I just watched the first episode of Dragon Ball Daima and he's front and center right off the bat if anyone's going to defeat Cell it's going to be me so open mouth insert foot but it does seem like in the west you know they're not comfortable with Mr. Popo. In Japan, they probably don't give a fuck. Having lost Trunks, it is do or die for Vegeta as he confronts Cell. He pours all his power into his attacks. However, even after consecutive energy blasts from Vegeta, Cell still stands unharmed. Vegeta then collapses from Cell's counterattack just as Cell moves in for the kill. Gohan dives in at the last minute, costing him the use of his left arm. Victory is in sight for Cell, who gathered enough key to annihilate the entire solar system. He is about to fire his attack at Gohan and the others. Please, for 
forgive me, Dad? Earth is doomed, and it's all my fault. Just as Gohan is about to give up, a voice reaches him from somewhere unknown. It is the voice of Goku, speaking to him from the other world. Hey! Don't go giving up now! That's not the Gohan I know! Dad? Is that you? Listen to me! I promise you can beat him! You just gotta believe in yourself, Gohan! Right now, you're the strongest person in the whole universe! Right! <laughs> I'll put this to rest. Goodbye. The struggle was incredibly tense. No! Kind of played out like this in the manga. But the anime, like, everybody kind of helped out a little bit. Show him getting wiped to atoms. Okay. There's a lot of a lot of animations missing, right? A lot of key sequences that are kind of watered down a little bit, or just missing altogether. Like I said, thanks to Gohan's victory over Cell, Earth is saved. The battle is finished. Gohan and the others suggest reviving Goku with the Dragon Balls, but that wish cannot be granted. Goku has already accepted his fate. And announces that he's going to stay in the other world. Gohan and his friends have grown much from the battle. As they mourn the loss of Goku, they return to their daily life on a peaceful earth. Alright, that's gonna do it for the, the Android saga, everybody. What'd you think? Did it bring back blissful rose-tinted memories? It did for me. Uh my nipples are hard right now. Uh thanks so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Uh, leave me a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.